All right, now we look at question six. They say Alec invest a sum, a lump sum of 5,000 rands in a savings account for exactly two years. The investment earns interest at 10% per annum compounded quarterly. Right, so they want to know what is the quarterly interest rate for Alex's investment. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, so we know in this case, uh, the interest rate was at 10% per annum, but it is compounded quarterly. So this is simply going to be 10% divided by 4. And in this case, that will be 2.5%. All right, 6.1.2. They say calculate the amount in Alex savings account at the end of two years. All right, so we know that we are uh, investing a lump sum of money. So we're using the compound interest formula, right? So we know the principal amount is going to be 5,000 rands. That's one plus the interest rate. In this case will be 0 0.1. So that's 10 divided by a hun uh, uh, 100. That's 0 0.1 but we're going to divide that by the number of, uh, or by uh, M, which is the compounding period that's quarterly. And so in this case, we're going to say N times M that's in two years, but there are four quarters in every year. Right, so we're going to say, right, so just put this in our calculator, that's 5,000. Okay, 1 plus 0 0.1 over 4. Okay, and we're going to raise this 2 times 4. And I get an amount of 5,092 rands. Okay, and 1 cent. Okay, and there we go. That's our compound interest. Okay, in fact, no, that is uh, our amount that would have accumulated after two years. That's what will be in Alex's savings account. Right, now let's go to the next part of this in 6.2. They say a school issued new laptops for each of its 110 employees at the beginning of the year. They say the school was advised to set up a sinking fund to ensure that there would be enough money to replace them at the end of the fifth year. The following applies. They paid 6,000 rands for each laptop. The laptops depreciated 15% per annum on a reducing balance basis. And they say inflation is estimated to be 6% per annum over five years, over the five-year period. And they say a sinking fund is set up such that all payments will receive 12% per annum uh, interest um, compounded monthly. All right, and they say determine the amount of money required at the end of five years to replace the laptops. Now, ladies and gents, I want us to, you know, there are several ways in which we can look at this. Um, but remember, it's 110 laptops, right? And we paid 6,000 each for those, uh, for, for per laptop, right? So, which means at present, the amount that we spend is 6,000 multiplied by 110. So, let's do that. So, that's 6,000 multiplied by 110, and we get 660,000 rands. All right, so that's what we're going to spend at present uh, to purchase the laptops, right? But in this case, um, we now need to find out how much will we need. In, in fact, essentially, how much do we need in our sinking fund, okay, uh, in order to replace the laptops in five years, okay? Right, so firstly, we know that the laptops depreciate okay so firstly we know that we can calculate the depreciation of the laptops all right so 
uh, they said this is on a reducing balance uh, basis, right? And please remember, we've got the straight line method and we've got the depre uh, uh, reducing balance. So reducing balance um, just simply says 1 minus i exponent n, right? So in this case, that's 660,000. Okay, and this is 1 minus um, our depreciation uh, rate is at 15% per annum. So that would be 15 over 100, that would give us 0 0.15. Okay, that is to the power five. Okay, so let's get that. So 660,000 uh, into one plus one minus rather, 0 0.15, and we're going to raise that to the exponent five. So which means that uh, the cost of the new laptops, right? Uh, in fact, no, no, no. Uh, uh, the laptops would have depreciated to an amount of 292,845 rand and 50 cents, 51 cent. Okay, so this is what these laptops will be worth in five years. And so remember, we can use this, right, as a, um, you know, a trade-in value, right? A trade-in amount that we can use, right? So, but we also know something else happens. We know that the cost of replacement will be different, meaning buying a new laptop, okay? So um, the cost of replacing, or rather, let's find out, Buying a new laptop or new laptops in five years. Right. So we know there's inflation. So we're going to simply say, right, that's P into 1 plus I exponent N. Right. So remember that 660,000. That's 1 plus. Now let's look at our infra inflation rate. In this case, that's 6% per annum, right, over the five-year period. So we know that inflation is at 6%, so that's 6 over 100. That will give us 0 0.06, and this is over the five years. So 660,000 to 1 plus 0 0.06 exponent 5. All right, now, which means to get new laptops, 883,228 and 88 cents. Right, so this is what it will cost us to get new laptops. All right, but now remember, we can get, you know, uh, we can use the trading amount as a deposit, okay? So meaning that, remember what they asked us, they wanted to find out, determine the amount required at the end of five years to replace the laptop, okay? So which means the amount that we will require will be the difference between the two, okay? So the amount required, required, will simply be the difference between the two, 883228.88 minus, right, the cost of replacing is 292.845 and 51 cents. Right, so let's do that, let's find out. So that's 883228.88 Eight eight minus the two nine two eight four five and fifty one cents, right? So which means the cost of replacing. This is the amount that we will require, and that's three eight three, and thirty seven cents, right? So this is the amount that we will require to replace or to get new laptops. Right, so now, 
um, they say to us in the next one, determine the monthly payment that should be made into the sinking fund to ensure that all 110 laptops can be replaced at the end of five years. So now this is essentially the amount that we want to raise in our sinking fund, right? So all we are going to do, we are looking at, uh, um, you know, a future value of that much. So we're going to use our future value formula, right? So this is going to be X into, right? So this is going to be uh, 1 plus I exponent N minus 1. And this is divided by uh, I. Right, so we want to find out the number of installments. So the future value that we want to raise is 590,383.37. Right, we want X. Right, so, um, so in our sinking fund, they did say that they're offering an interest of 12% per annum, but that's compounded on a monthly basis, right? So this is going to be zero, um, 12 divided by 100, which would be 0 0.12, right? But we are now going to divide this by 12 because they said they are compounding it on a monthly basis. And so this will be uh, 12 multiplied by the five years. Okay, that's minus the 1 uh, divided by, that's going to be 0 0.12 divided by 12. Now, ladies and gents, let's try and get the value of x. And in this case, we're going to do as many, um, you know, uh, gymnastics, you know, mathematical gymnastics. So going to cross multiply these two together and we're going to divide by this entire expression. So let's whip out our calculators. Okay, so we said we've got 590,383.37, right? And we're going to multiply that by 0 0.12 over 12. Okay, please verify if uh, I am actually tracking on the right track. And so... That's the amount that we get. And we divide this by this entire bracket. So that's 1 plus 0 0.12 over 12. Okay. Y, X, 12 times 5, that would be 60. Okay. And we say, and please remember just to take that bracket down. Uh, actually, that should be minus 1. And I close the bracket. I'm just trying to see if I've done this correctly. Yes, that looks like that is absolutely correct. Okay, so that means that I get a value of X, which is now the monthly installments uh, that I'm going to deposit into my sinking fund. Uh, so that's 7,228 and 92 cents. All right. Uh, please verify if you do get the same value and uh, let me know in the comment section. Right. So that is how the cookie crumbles. Right. That's uh, the future value. And sinking funds are really quite straightforward to do. Right, and I hope that you guys get it. All right, let's go to the next question.